guys, welcome back. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a geometric effect on a picture in Photoshop. So this is basically going to be the end result of what we have. Um, just a nice image with all these shapes on it. So anyway, let's jump right into it. So first thing you want to do is you want to find an image. Um, oh, sorry about that. You want to find an image, uh, like a nice clean image, only, only, mostly focusing on one um, subject in the picture. So that's why I got Spider-Man here with a nice black background. It's a simple image of Spider-Man and you got a nice background to kind of contrast it, right? So when you're choosing an image to do this with, keep it simple, meaning like maybe one thing that you're doing it with instead of like something with an, a back, crowded background or, you know, lots of people in the picture. It's easy to keep it simple because that's when it looks the best. But uh, yeah, so first thing you want to do is you want to duplicate this layer. So I'm just going to drag it down, make a new layer, and we're going to call this shapes just so we know. So the whole time we're working on this geometric thing, you want to keep the shapes layer selected or the first layer that you duplicate is selected, okay? So next what you want to do is you want to go here, grab your polygonal lasso tool. Um, if you don't have it selected here already, just hold down, it should pop up right there. Um, and I like to have my rulers on, just kind of helps <laughs> measure stuff, but yeah. So I like to zoom in a bit and yeah, so you can, that's really all there is to it. And then we can just kind of work with what we have. So. You can, I'm going to start, I like to start at the edges, um, so just draw, I don't know, a triangle or something. And we have that triangle selected, again, making sure you're on the shapes layer. And then what you want to do is you want to average out that color. So we're going to go to filter, blur, and average. So as you see, you just click that to get rid of it, but you have a nice triangle that is there. And it basically just took an average of all those colors to make this. So, you know, you can keep going after that, make as many as you want. Um, and there's actually a keyboard shortcut if you want to know how to average it instead of going to view, instead of going to filter, blur, average every time. You can actually click Control F on your keyboard and it'll just average out that layer for you. So, you know, I'm just kind of doing this, but honestly, that's all there really is to this, to this uh, picture. You just have to keep averaging out the layer, you know, selecting different areas, making it look good. But again, I'm just doing this quick for this tutorial. But uh, yeah, that really is all there is to it. Um, again, I did a Deadpool one. This is what it ended up, you know, looking like. This took half, maybe an hour to do after like tuning it up and stuff like that. But otherwise, it's very easy to do, and it looks really good when it's finished. So anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Quick video, just wanted to show you how to do it. Again, if you didn't check out that speed art, I suggest you check it out. Um, good example of you know what it'll look like in the end result but uh yeah so anyway guys thank you for watching and uh, have a good day